Hi all folks, this is Max from uh, HighOnAndroid.com. So today I was making this OTG cable. Um, basically what you need is one of those USB, uh, uh, what is this thing called, uh, extenders. And you get the, this is the female end, so you can plug in males, such as your USB flash drive, because this is a male going into the female. So you take that, and then you take a micro USB cable off one of your micro USB cables and basically you wire it um, just the same red to red, white to white, um, green to green, uh, black to black and this other wire is just basically keeps the uh, the line from um, you know pulling on each other so you can make this thing tighter and you can solder it or just you know I was in a hurry because I wanted an OTG cable um, to test out my latest uh, kernel, which supposedly supports uh, OTG devices on the Epic 4G Touch, and coming soon to AT&T um, also, but um, I couldn't test it, and I got so excited, so I bought. Um, so basically, one thing I have left to do is, uh, in order to make it truly OTG, you need. To, this is the the most important part. You need to put. Um, this is the last pin. If you look at it like this, you need to put the uh, let me see the one on the the this way most. The last pin. This is one, two, three, four, five like that from the right to left. Um, you have to find it for this one. It's actually on the back. It's uh, you see the one there and two is up here, three and then four is here and then five is right there. So that's the little pin that I have to. Um, Five and four, I have to uh, put it together because the the last pin that's not being used. Um, if you put it to connect it to ground, which is black, which is four right here, uh, basically it turns it into it lets your phone know that it's in OTG mode, and then everything else is pretty much wired the same. And uh, you should be able to plug in your mouse, your um, hard disk, and whatnot. And this works on uh, Motorola Zoom too. So that's the last part. I'm gonna go um, solder this. I actually, let me show you. I should actually have an unboxing of my new digital soldering station. It cost me, uh, it was on sale for 70 bucks um, at Radio Shack. It comes with the um, temperature range. Actually, I'm, I used to be pretty good, good at this stuff, but I didn't really solder for like, it took a couple years off. Anyway, I'm gonna go um, solder this pin that's I think all I need to do and maybe test out my kernel and see if I can hack an OTG on the Epic 4G Touch. Uh, world's first um, OTG on the Epic 4G Touch. You have to use my kernel of course, it's coming at 6.02. So let me go solder, I'll be back. Hi all folks, so all I did was uh, basically um, solder these things two together. It's been like three years since I've last time I soldered. So. Kind of ghetto, but it works. Um, I'm gonna go test it out with my new kernel and see if it works. Uh, anyway, that's how you make an OTG cable. I'll have a better video of this in the future, by the way. Thanks.